let's take a look at gender discrimination and harassment. Federal laws addressing sex discrimination are the Equal Pay Act and Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Also relevant is the Pregnancy Discrimination Act, a Title VII amendment clarifying that discrimination based on pregnancy, childbirth, and related medical conditions is a form of sex discrimination. Sexual harassment has also been interpreted by the Supreme Court as a type of sex discrimination actionable under Title VII. About one-third of EEOC charges each year allege sex discrimination of some type. Although laws and regulations have been effective in some cases in addressing sex discrimination, gender inequities remain in part due to the limitations of current law and enforcement strategy. Despite successes of the EPA and Title VII in addressing some cases of sex discrimination, their effect is limited by the requirement that sex-based differences can only be challenged when jobs are the same or substantially equal in content. The PDA requires pregnancy, childbirth, and related medical incapacitation to be treated as other temporary disabling conditions. Adverse employment actions based on pregnancy are considered sex discrimination. Diversity professionals should be well informed about sexual harassment and the range of possible responses by victims and by organizations. Employers should have a comprehensive policy concerning sexual harassment and handling complaints. 